Hey guys, Carlo here. Welcome to the vlog. Today, we're going to put together what I consider to be one of the best smartphone vlogging kits that you can possibly have. We're going to check out a nice smartphone for vlogging. We're going to check out what could be the best selfie stick that you could bring around with you when you are vlogging. We're going to check out options for microphones and a bunch of other stuff. So if you want to get into vlogging or you are vlogging and you primarily use a smartphone, this video is for you. Let's go! Now, if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, please make sure that you do so because we do constant giveaways here. In fact, we just announced a new giveaway where we're giving away, well, a Supreme body bag, brand new, 100% legit, not from Green Hills. <laughs> so make sure that you hit that subscribe button, follow me on Instagram, join our Facebook community, and then click the link in the description box because it has the full mechanics of the giveaway. Good luck. Now all of the items that you guys will be seeing here will be linked in the description box. So if you wanna buy them from Lazada, it's just one click away. So let's get started with the smartphone. Now there are a variety of smartphones that you can pick from. The only two things that you need to know before you pick a smartphone is number one does it have like wide angle capabilities because that is absolutely critical and number two what are the special features that it has to deliver better video capture quality so let's jump right into it the first and most important thing is you need a smartphone and when it comes to smartphones I ended up going with the Huawei Mate 30 Pro as my primary mobile smartphone vlogging camera and it has to do with two things number one the camera setup on this device is just beastly regardless if you're doing photos or if you are doing videos. The built-in stabilization in this is just otherworldly. It literally feels like you already have a gimbal if you are doing B-rolls or different kinds of tracking shots with the Huawei Mate 30 Pro. The 40 megapixel Cine camera also delivers outstanding video quality and regardless if it is low light, medium light, or obviously great lighting conditions. It's just a fantastic all-around shooting camera. Now some of you probably have some issues with the Google issue and I have two things to say to that uh, number one the Huawei app gallery has gone a long way since they first came out with it there are a lot of fantastic apps that you can get from it both local internationally from banking to BDO uh, to shopping such as Lazada and a bunch of other photo and video editing applications that you usually need and if you want to go a step further there are a lot of guides available on how you can install Google on your Huawei Mate 30 Pro so that you you can unlock the Google Play Store. So if you want to watch a tutorial on that one, I'll put the link down below. Oh, two more things. It does have Huawei Share. So if you want to transfer your video files over to your Huawei MateBook, you can do it wirelessly, effortlessly. And it does have like a promo right now from Huawei. You can actually buy the Huawei Mate 30 Pro at 5,000 pesos off. Usually sells for 50,990. You can buy it for 46,990 today. Now moving on to the microphone. You have a variety of options. If you are on a tight budget, I would recommend that you guys take a look at this one. This is the Boya University universal cardioid microphone. So it's your basic shotgun microphone that you can attach to your setup so that you're able to get great audio quality. I think this one sells anywhere from 1,000 to 1,500. So it won't break the bank, but yet the quality is pretty outstanding. Now, this is actually one of the best beginner microphones for vlogging that you can get. And I've tried it and it is really, I mean, two thumbs up for this one. Value for money, hard to beat this one. Now, if you want to level it up, you can actually use the microphone that I'm using today, which is the Rode Pro Mic, if I'm not mistaken. Now, the issue with the Rode uh, Mic Pro is that it sells for almost 20,000 pesos. But the audio is pretty good, so if you want to go like top level, uh, then go for the Rode. But if you're just starting out, then go for the Boya. Now, when it comes to selfie sticks, I actually have a bunch that I've tried in the last few years. And I think I have two solid recommendations. Now, if you are on a tight budget, obviously you can just pick up whatever kind of selfie stick that you can buy from Green Hills or your local shop as long as it extends and you can put a phone in it, then it should work. So this one is the Mi Photo, which is a really nice selfie stick. It has a remote control, has different configurations that you can attach to this, including a smartphone holder. Uh, this one is the Manfrotto, 
uh, which is was one of my favorites for the longest time. It has a ball head over here, allowing you to move it in different directions, easy to plop down, and it has different modes so that you can stand it in different ways. So this one has been a really good favorite of mine. Again, the links to all of these can be found down below. This one is the Momax, what they call this again, Selfie Stable. It actually has a built-in one-axis gimbal, so if you just wanna walk around and not have the video become too shaky, this one works uh, really well. And it also functions as a tripod as well, and you can even extend it like so. So this one, again, is the Momax Selfie Stable. And probably one of the best ones that you can get is the one that I'm using today. Uh, this is the SwitchPod, and a lot of professional YouTubers and vloggers recommend it a lot. It's built for vlogging, the ergonomics are great. You just have to get like a ball head for it, for it to work really well. Issue with this one is that it sells for 5,000 pesos and you can only buy it in the US, so it's not readily available here in the Philippines. However, we can't stop there because if you take a look at the smartphone holders, it doesn't have like a hot shoe where you can put the microphone. So it's just a normal, well, smartphone holder. So you, I actually had to go out and buy from Ulanzi. This is something that I picked up from Henry's Professional. It is a smartphone holder that has a hot shoe built at the top so you can actually slide in the microphone. So what I'll do now is I'll put it together with some of the devices that I have here so you have an idea what the setup looks like. Now as you guys can see, we attach the Ulanzi to the top of the Manfrotto and then we have the selfie stick and we have the Huawei Mate 30 Pro over here and as I mentioned it now has a hot shoe at the top so all you have to do is you insert the microphone uh, via the hot shoe and you should be able to do vlogging like so. Now here's one more issue that I forgot to tell you about. Uh, most smartphones don't have audio jacks anymore which is a pain for vloggers like me so I had to actually go out uh, and get the Huawei con converter cable over here. So this is USB-C. You slot it in like so, and then you just plug in the usual cable to it so that you're able to connect to the microphone of the smartphone. So this is what the final product looks like. You have the microphone, you have the smartphone, and then you have the Manfrotto selfie stick. Now obviously this won't be complete without a demo or some footage using the smartphone itself. So at this point, I'll switch on over to the Huawei Mate 30 Pro and the vlogging gear that I just put together so you guys get a feel for how it works once put together. So I've now switched to the Huawei Mate 30 Pro as our vlogging camera for this particular shot. Uh, we have the Huawei Mate 30 Pro attached to the Olanzi smartphone holder with the hot shoe. We have the Boya microphone attached to the top, which is connected to the USB-C to audio jack converter cable for the Huawei device. And then it is attached, of course, to our Manfrotto selfie stick. Now, at this point in the vlog, I'll li I'd, I'd like to show you guys my two other vlogging setups. The one I was using previously was actually my Canon M6 Mark II, and I also have an alternative vlogging setup with my Sony RX Mark VII. Uh, and uh, what do you guys think of the footage so far of the Huawei Mate 30 Pro? Let me know down below in the comment section. Would love to hear from you. So this is one of my vlogging setups. We have the Canon M6 Mark II. We have the Rode Video Mic Plus Pro or whatever you call that, the 20,000 peso microphone. Uh, we have the Switch Pod over here, one of the best selfie sticks that you can get today. Uh, and I did put like some sort of cage over here so that I can put the microphone on the side because if I put the microphone at the top, I can't flip the screen and see what I am doing. <laughs> so this is super critical. Now I also have like a smaller a vlogging setup. So this is of course the Sony RX100 uh, Mark 7. I also put in like a rig or a cage so that I can put in again the microphone somewhere here along the side so when I flip up the screen uh, the microphone doesn't block the view. So vlogging setup one, vlogging setup two, vlogging setup three.
So guys, that's actually it for our vlog for today. I hope you enjoyed the video. Again, the links to all of the items that I featured in today's episode can be found in the description box so you can buy them quickly and easily over at Lazada. And as usual, peace, God bless, what's up, boom.